to find the nth root of any complex number z which z is equal to x plus i y where x is the real part and y is the imaginary part we will use the formula z k is equal to okay r to the power of 1 over n where r is the modulus of the complex number times the cosine of theta which is the principal argument of the complex number theta plus 2 pi times k divided by n plus i times the sine of the same angle the argument the principal argument plus 2 pi k divided by n so this is the formula that we will use where theta is the argument of z the principal argument which is defined by tan inverse of y over x so ziga it's at an z z is equals 9 i line so 9 i means the real part is 0 and the imaginary part is 9 okay so x is 0 and y is just 9 so when you interpret this formula this k implies k is a number starting from 0 1 2 ya le katlena ska n minus 1 dreseda selezi if you are looking for the fourth root of a complex number z then n will be 4 n is 4 and k will be 0 1 2 and 3 if you are looking for the square root then this is 2 then your k will be equal to 0 and 1 only n minus 1 once let me one mark the cube root corner n is 3 then your k will be 0 1 and n minus 1 3 minus 1 which is 2 majemeria 0 tasgebalachu keza 1 keza 2 iyalachu ska n minus 1 dress selezi the cube root of any complex number will have 3 values 3 result no menagenyo the fourth root ketebal arat root no menagenyo the square root ketebal ulet result nagenyallem mal selezi en formula nitekemalle majemeria gen min magnet yasfelgenal we need to find the modulus the norm of the complex number and the other one is the angle which is the principal angle using these two formulas so question number 6 z centenary certain find the square root of 9i no below the real part is 0 and the imaginary part y is 9 so let's see r centenary nagenyo rasu zetenyo no below because r is x squared which is 0 squared plus 9 squared which is the square root of 81 so this is 1 9 the other is theta which is the principal argument the argument of z will be by definition tan inverse of a first quadrant lies alone y over x no x zero silometer the value doesn't exist tan will be undefined when pi over 2 mal. so z k will be equal to we will put the value of k here we are looking for the square root of 9 i so a square root mallet n is equal to 2 no so let's see the value of k will be 0 and 1. Let's see in formula and take a bracket. The first is z0. z0 is equal to r, which is our norm or the modulus of our complex number, which is 9. Okay. The power of 1 over n, n is 2, times the cosine of theta is pi over 2, pi divided by 2 plus 2 times pi times k is in this case 0 so k times 0 divided by 2 you close the bracket plus i times the sine of the principal angle theta pi over 2 plus 2 pi times 0 divided by 2 then we'll close it this bracket so the square root of 9 will be 3 times 2 pi times 0 is 0 so let's see the cosine of pi over 2 divided by 2 which will be pi over 4 plus i times sine similarly ziga ziga 0 slow ne? pi over 2 divided by 2 no mi meto lezi pi over 2 over 2 malet a2 over 1 malet no so lezi reciprocal multiplication you get pi over 2 times 2 4 
So the first root of our number is the cosine of power 4 plus i times the sine of pi over 4. So this is cosine na sine pi over 4 equal now, which is square root of 2 over 2. So this is 3 times okay, square root of 2 over 2 plus i times square root of 2 over 2. So this will be finally image of square root 3 square root of 2 over 2 plus 3 i times 3 square root of 2 over 2. The same thing, 9 is the power of 1 over 2. The cosine of the principal angle of 9i pi over 2 plus 2 pi k. k in this case is 1. 2 pi times 1 divided by 2 plus i times sine. Similarly, pi over 2 plus 2 pi times 1, which is 2 pi divided by 2. Then you will close the bracket. So now simplify it. The square root of 9 is 3 times cosine of 2 pi. 2 times 2, 4 no. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 over 4 pi. Plus i times sine. 5 over 4, 4 pi. If you have to find the value of cosine of 5 over pi. This is the value of cosine of 5 over pi. So to calculate. This value, this value, 5 pi over 4 is equal to pi plus pi over 4. No? So let's see, cosine of 5 pi over 4 mallet, the cosine of pi plus pi over 4 mallet. No? So let's see, cosine addition rule, no? addition rule. This is cosine of the first angle times the cosine of the second angle minus the sine of the first angle times the sine of the second angle mallet now. Let's see, but the formula simplifies the root cosine of uh, pi negative one now. Cosine of pi over four are one degree mallet now, which is square root of two over two. Minus sine of pi is zero. Zero times a number is just zero, so this is will be zero. This will be minus square root of two over two. Similarly, the sine of five pi over four will be equal to sine pi plus pi over 4 no the sum of two angles are gans up no this will be the sine pi times the cosine pi over 4 plus cosine the second angle the first angle times sine second angle which is pi over 4 so sine pi is 0 is a part 0 no? plus cosine pi minus 1 times Sine pi, cosine pi, garcula, pi over 4 mallet, no? square root of 2 over 2. No? So let's see, let's two, negative square root of 2 over 2 again. So let's see, 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 let's